Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you very quickly how to turn any image into a cyberpunk style. And we're not going to use a pre-built filter, we're going to do it ourselves from scratch like I've done here. So I'm going to delete this. And when you think of cyberpunk style, you got to think of, you know, a little bit of magenta. You want some reds, magentas in there, as well as some pretty bright fluorescent -y type scions and, and, and things like that. A little bit of green occasionally, but uh, here we go. So the first step here, I've loaded up a standard image of just a, outside of a restaurant here. This is a stock image. I'm going to go ahead and drop it here and create a duplicate copy. So I'm working on the top copy. The reason why I did that is I just want to show you the results when I'm done. The next step is making sure you're on the top copy or the top layer, go up to the top to go to filter, and then actually drop it down here and go to camera raw filter. You can actually do this now entirely in camera raw. When you open it up, you'll see this here. We're going to make a few basic changes to start. In particular, we're going to pull the temperature down a little bit to the left. We want to get some of those blues in there, and we're going to pull the tint to the right. So we're going to get some of that magenta uh, in there. So we're kind of just shifting it to the blue and magenta zone, and uh, we're going to come back to this and make a few final adjustments. So I'm going to increase the exposure a little bit because uh, the cyberpunk style tends to be a little bit brighter. I'll pull the contrast up a bit, and let's just mess around with the highlights. I'm going to pull those up a little bit and the shadows down a bit, something like that. Okay, cool. We're going to come back to that in a few minutes now, or in a minute, actually. Now, we're going to close this one up here, and now let's go down here to calibration. This is where we do the real work. So under calibration, you'll see here that we've got red primary, green primary, and blue primary. I'm going to pull it to the left for some more red slash magenta. I'm going to increase the saturation of the red. As you've, as you've seen in a lot of uh, cyberpunk styles, they're very saturated. We're going to look at the greens here. I'm going to try and get some of that cyan -y green look in there, and I'm going to pull the saturation up. And then for the blue, I'm also going to experiment with this, but I go to the left a little bit because I like this sort of cyan slash light blue look and then again i'm gonna actually you know what i'm not gonna pull the saturation too far up because then it's getting really oversaturated so maybe something like that looking at that i it looks good but we need some more red and we need some more magenta so i'm gonna go back to basic and then i'm going to go ahead and just slide that up a little bit not too much and then i'm gonna go down here to saturation i'm going to play with saturation mm, something like that maybe and then for the final Coup de gras, we're going to go right into the curves here. And in particular, I'm going to click on the red channel. And then I'm going to experiment. But watch this. As I sort of pull this red here, and you can pull anywhere along the curve if you want. I'm gonna, the midtones is if you pull in the middle, you're working on the midtones. If you pull down at the bottom, this is the shadows. And at the top is the highlights. And generally, I want to work a little bit towards the highlights and the shadows. So I'm going to pull this up just a little bit. And then I'm going to pull this to the left just a little bit. And then I'm going to go over to the blue one and I'll pull on this a little bit. Let's see, try it down here, something like that. So I'm just working on the midtones. I'm pulling them down a little bit. And then for the green, well, you can go either way with this, depending on the look you're going for. This is more magenta here on the right side. And if you want the greenish cyan look, go to the left there. I'm going to go ahead and pull down the middle here. And then I'm going to pull the top towards the green end. So something like that. And then again, you can go in and make the adjustments as you see fit. I'm going to maybe pull this a bit more, get some pink in there. And yeah, something like that. What do you guys think? Does that work for you? Again, you can adjust this as you see fit. But this is basically how you make cyberpunk styles inside Adobe Photoshop. Thanks for watching.